and active, sharpening a two-edged sword, able to penetrate soul and sunder, separating bone and marrow. It judges the attitudes and thoughts of the heart. Christ is the bondage breaker. He delivers. He heals. I mean, I'm I'm a perfect I'm a perfect example of it. I mean, I, you know, and I don't mean to sound like I'm trying to glorify my past because I'm not, sweetie, at all, at all. I I want to I want to I wanna say I don't know that guy. That guy's been crucified. I don't know Asa Harrison anymore. You know, that guy's dead. I'm a new creature in Christ. And he'll do the same for you and anybody else that, that, that longs and hungers and thirsts after him. You know, he is a healing God. And so, you guys get... Well, we got three minutes. <laughs> um, uh, so, and I appreciate the question. Thank you very much. I, I, I really appreciate the question. Thank you. And, and, you know, if you get a chance, find that book, The Bondage Breaker by Dr. Neil T. Anderson. Most people, when I tried reading it, entire pages went blank. And, I, and so I did have to stop and pray. Only book out of the hundreds of books that I've read, that's the only book that ever did that. So and it's called the, the Bondage Breaker. They have it in Spanish, too. Um, so let me pray for you guys. You guys mind? You want me to pray for you, with you? All right. Father, we, we humbly come before you and we, we thank you for your Christ. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for the blood of the Lamb. We plead the blood of the Lamb over our lives and over our families. We ask that you be glorified and honored in healing us. We ask that you continue to put a guard over our hearts and minds and mouths that we might not sin against you. And strengthen and enable us to walk worthy of our calling, fully pleasing you in every way by the power of your Holy Spirit. We just ask, Father, that you would enable us to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. To the praise of your glorious grace in Christ Jesus. Amen.